welcome back to another video. Today, we have something pretty cool to show you. Rosalie actually found this and I think it's pretty awesome. So we're gonna try it out today. Rosalie, what are we doing today? We're gonna make some art. Super exciting. I don't know if you guys have ever seen the videos of people online, I'll insert a clip, where they like have big buckets full of paint and they swing them around and make these crazy paintings. Well, they look super cool. We don't have huge giant buckets of paint that we can use, but we saw something online where we could make our very own like pendulum painting contraption. It's gonna be really cool. So we're gonna try it out today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Woohoo! Okay, Rosalie, what do you have on your table that we need for this project? Uh, we have paint, and you can use any kind of paint that you wanna use. We have uh, this washable liquid paint. Washable's good. Washable's when you get good. messy, you wanna be able to wash that. That's true. Uh, we also have some water. Water, why do you ask? Why do we have water? Mm -hmm. Well, we have water because we're gonna thin out the paint a little bit because then it's easier for it to spread on the paper if you have it a little bit thinner. Good so idea. Yep, and then I have some tape because we are gonna need to tape down some things. And scissors and some mixing cups. Perfect. And then over here, I've got some paper where we're gonna do our awesome art projects. A large like paper towel roll. Um, that's what's gonna hold our little paint cup. A cup for our paint. Some string, a hole punch, and then these two large like buckets we're gonna use to hold up this paper towel roll so that our cup can swing from it. All right, let's put it together. Ready? Let's do it. We're going to hot glue this paper towel roll to our, uh, our poles, we'll call them, or our buckets. That way this won't move when the cup is swinging around on it. So we're gonna hop off, hot glue it, come back. Okay, we hot glued our paper towel roll to our buckets. You see it creates like the place where our cup can swing. Now we need to punch holes in our cup so that we can hang it from our toilet paper roll, or paper towel roll. Rosalie, you wanna punch holes? Sure. All right, so you punch two holes across the top. So kind of make them somewhat even. If you don't have a hole punch, you can just do something sharp. Ask a parent for help if you're gonna use anything sharp. You do two holes. One on one side, one on the other. And actually, I'm going to use scissors for to poke the hole in the bottom. Perfect. Love it. All right, now comes the fun part. We're gonna string it on our on our uh, roll here, and we're pretty much done at this point. Aside from like doing the actual painting part, this is super easy. So we're just going to loop the string through the two holes at the top, so it kind of goes goes across and then you tie it off. Then we're just going to take this and we're gonna wrap it around this toilet paper tube a few times and tie it off until it's nice and tight. Now, then the only like, next step to do is to mix up our paint and then we'll put a piece of paper underneath this cup, pour some paint in it, and we'll make some art. So should we mix up our paint? Let's do it. All right. All right guys, we got our setup set up. We have the cup, the toilet paper roll, or the paper towel roll, our little poles to hold it all together. So we're just gonna try it. We're gonna dump some paint in, and what we get, we get. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start with yellow, I think. What's nice about this paint is that it's washable, so even if you make a mess, it's okay. I'm gonna kind of start from back here. I'm gonna pour it in and go. Oh, it's dripping. I don't think I put enough in. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, it got kind of drippy in the back, but that's all right. It's abstract. Let's go orange. Okay. I'm going to put it from over here. Ooh. <laughs> okay, ready? Now we'll try blue. Dad, did you see how it's kind of like breaking up that? That's pretty cool. I might have done too much paint in the cups, but that's okay. All right, last but not least, green. Maybe we'll try it from over. Ah! It hit the pole. Got me wet. Ooh! It's not exactly like the video, but that's okay. It is pretty cool though. Look how that like kind of looks like a marble, like a marbled effect. 
Okay, let's see. I'm gonna stop this thing from swinging. Put a paper towel underneath. Oh, I just spilled paint everywhere. And there is our finished product. Wherever you paint it, you might wanna leave it for a little bit. Actually, this might be a great activity to just do outside, because then you can leave it out there. If you had chalk paint, you could do this outside, leave, put some chalk paint in the little cup, and leave it on your driveway. That would be super cool. You could make this as big or as small as you want to. It's fun, get creative, try different things, try different directions, try different thicknesses of paint, try different hole sized holes in the bottom of the cup or different numbers of holes in the bottom of the cup and see how you get different designs. I like ours though, it's very abstract, but still pretty cool. All right guys, that was super fun. I love when we get to be creative together, yep. try new projects, even if they don't turn out like we thought they were going to, it was still super fun. Rosalie, thanks for hanging out today. That was really fun, thanks guys. And let us know if you try it and send us some pictures. We'd love to see it. Yes. Yeah, if you take if you take this and try it on your own, to have your parents send us pictures on the Mission Kids Instagram. Have a great week, you guys, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.